Hi. Hi. Good Mikaela. afternoon. Welcome on board the Hot Aviation. I will Before. present for you the Global Express of Hot Aviation, a beautiful aircraft. I hope you're ready. It came really low down the valley. Let's have a look inside of the former DA Global 6000. Take off your shoes. They're like in the restaurant in the air. A hotel in the sky. The mountains were so close to the aircraft, it was unreal, you know. Just now getting the plane ready to be towed. The range almost 6,000 nautical miles. Quite capable as well from the performance side. So we can do here from St. Stefan to New York, even Miami. Second thing is the high speed. So we do a cruise at 8.5, Mach number 8.5. So it's high speed cruise. We are here at the hangar of St. Stefan Airfield and uh, we are currently awaiting the Global Express. It is very, very close. South of the eastern tip of uh, Lac Le Mans. When will it come? Global Express should arrive in about 10 minutes, so very soon. So maybe we should also make ourselves ready. Now here you can see the special addition to this piston bully to pull the Global Express. Probably not that often that you see this vehicle in this configuration. A giant V12 monster we have here from MAN. Because of the size of the Global Express, they need to be ready on every landing for a potential emergency and for a potential fire. So they have this giant fire truck, which is actually an ex Zurich airport vehicle, which they were able to get. Inside of this giant truck, they have 8,000 liters of uh, water ready for a potential fire and also 1,500 liters of foam. Uh, at the beginning uh, of the emergency, they have to decide what they are going to use. Uh, they can't switch between foam and water and uh, nowadays they mostly use water. The Global Express is due to income any second, so we'll have to hurry up a bit and uh, go to the runway. So the Global Express is now inbound and has to circle around the valley here and the mountains and it will land on runway 14 and I hope you're ready for this crazy aircraft landing. It's unreal to have such a giant jet at this airfield in the Bernese mountains. I'm speechless. The sheer size of this aircraft. My head is lower than the engine and the tail is like three times me. <laughs> Let's have a look inside of the Bombardier Global 6000. As with every nice home, uh, you have to take off your shoes because as you will see, this home is really nice. Yeah, hi. hi Good Michaela. afternoon. Welcome on board the Hot Aviation. I will forward? present for you the Global Express of Hot Aviation, a beautiful aircraft. I hope you're ready. Yes, sure. Maybe we can start with the kitchen. Actually, yes. <laughs> this is uh, one of the best things uh, we uh, in aviation, we call it a galley. Yeah. Uh, the kitchen in here. Uh, this is uh, my place where I prepare everything for our valuable guests. Um, I have uh, all the things arranged, uh, everything comes handy, all the coffee, the tea that I might need, a kettle as well. There is a, an espresso machine, so we are uh, ready wow. for, uh, very nice. for the long fries, for a very nice uh, coffee. The oven and the microwave, everything is in here. Really, I enjoy very much uh, the, the galley, the kitchen, as you call it, because it's spacious. I have everything in here, everything I need. So very nice to work I enjoy here. It. Very nice to work here. Here, this is um, the crew area. 
That so is just a very place? my place yes. to sit. Yes, very whenever nice I get the chance. Very nice seat. Very as well. nice seat. A very comfortable seat. You may uh, use it oh, if you wish you. to. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, let now I, I have to do food for you. Uh, yes. <laughs> now it uh, it moves uh, forward uh, and backwards. Yeah. It also reclines, so I can get a little bit of uh, sleep. Of, also, uh, not I wouldn't say sleep, but uh, a comfortable rest. I would call it. In here, I have a table that I can use whenever I am supposed to have my lunch, my dinner, my snack, oh, whatever yeah. it is. As spacious and as nice as the kitchen, as you did call it earlier. <laughs> so on board this Global Express, we have uh, two toilets. Yeah. Uh, Navigation we call it lavatories. One is in here, uh, very comfortable, uh, very nice. It's a little bit small, but it's mainly for uh, the crew to use it during the flight. And we do have another toilet that is in the aft. Please uh, welcome once again. The reason ah. why you removed your shoes is it, because of this beautiful uh, soft carpet that is um, with silk. Uh, it's a very sensitive wow. carpet. We have the four uh, main seats, we would call it. Yeah. In the forward with the tables, there is the iPad of the plane I in saw here. That, yeah. uh, it has music, it has movies to enjoy during the flight if you wish to. On the main screen, we play uh, the route. The seats, they can turn into a bed. So yep. for the long flights, for the night flights, for passengers who wish to rest a little bit more to get some sleep, we can actually make these two into beds, comfortable beds yeah. with mattress, with everything, so they can enjoy uh, as much as possible and get as much rest as possible. Actually, this one, it moves. Oh, it, it swivels. It nice. Swi this Global Express can accommodate 13 uh, people. Each seat uh, has a control panel, so you actually can control the audio, can control as well the headset. If you have it, everything is right next to the seat. There is also a USB charger. On to the next section, welcome to what we call the middle of the cabin. As you can see in here, we have uh, four seats that are to the main table, which we can open. It just has to be secured for now, oh, wow. but uh, guests can enjoy a very nice lunch and dinner. Uh, table can be uh, prepared very nicely yeah. and they can feel like they're having, uh, they're like in the restaurant in the air with a very nice experience. I can imagine. Sometimes we, uh, for guests who wish, this can be turned into a buffet as the space is in here, it's a little bit bigger. So yeah. guests can enjoy as much as they want. Everything in here is actually um, thought and designed in order for them to make the most out of their journey, yes. There is also our own magazine that we present to you right here. Very great branding. Very proud of it as well. Have now reached the aft or the rear section of the cabin. This is the wonderful sofa that I was telling you about. Yeah. Uh, that can be turned into a very comfortable bed as well as these two seats. So in here can be a, a little bedroom, let's say. Yeah. A hotel uh, Suite. in the sky. Oh, yes. yes. There you go. And you can also close here, right? So uh, we can say in bye, here bye to for, for privacy as well as in the forward cabin, uh, the door can be closed. <laughs> Hi. So the guests can uh, enjoy uh, their rest as well as uh, their privacy. Here we have uh, the second toilet, the one that I was telling you about for earlier, the guests. for the guests yeah. to use. It's uh, uh, much larger. It has everything in here from uh, towels to hand film to toothpaste and everything that somebody might need uh, uh, on a regular basis. Um, please feel free to, to come and have a look. It's huge. Yes, it's very nice one. Bye bye. <laughs> I have uh, flown right now from Nigeria. It was the first time for me to land in San Stefan. Oh, really? I was amazed, literally. Uh, I didn't know which window should I take first, <laughs> to the left, to the right. I was uh, just amazed. The landscape, beautiful, all the green uh, is just amazing. I haven't been scared, but the mountains were so close to the, to the aircraft. It was like unreal, you know? We are just now getting the plane ready to be towed. Inside of the cockpit, here with Martin, Hi. which Hello. we already know from the PC12 video, nice video of yes. old aviation. Exactly. The landing looked absolutely crazy from the outside. How was it for you inside? Always something special to come here. It's a lot of terrain, so it, it needs a proper preparation for this. So we do quite a long brief. Yeah. So it's always challenging and you always want to make it right, of course. You have to have your plan B and C as well, if something is not working what you expect. 
training is the one step and the other one is you use it frequently. So we come here once or twice a month. Maybe you can tell us uh, some specs about it. This is a Global Express, first generation. So it was the first almost 22 years old, but still looks the same like brand new delivered Global 6000 or 6500. So the range, almost 6000 nautical miles, 11,000 kilometers. Quite capable as well from the performance side. So we can do here from St. Stefan to New York, even Miami. Non-stop, no non -stop. problem. Second thing is the high speed. So we do a cruise at 8.5, Mach number 8.5. So it's high speed cruise, yeah. even 8.6, 8.8 we can do. The maximum altitude is 5.10. Wow. But usually we are in the range of 4.50 to 4.70. Max takeoff weight, the maximum payload, you go up to 4.10 immediately. So yeah. there is no issue for this aircraft. Usually we are doing West Coast as well from Europe all over. So yeah. this is the flight deck. This is like, you can see it's not the modern big screens and everything else, but still capable of doing the same yeah. like and the new one. Which, <laughs> I mean, this is way more modern than anything I've flown before, but it looks like a really cool workplace. Yeah, it is. It's just a nice, comfortable workplace. There's even a crew rest area. So you have seen the seat in, yeah. it's basically a crew rest area. So when you fly with three pilots, you can extend, of course, the duty time and flying time up yeah. to 16 hours. So it gives you a little bit of more range, even with a stop or something. Yeah. Like so how many hours do you fly um, a month, approximately? Between 80 and 100 hours a month, almost 900 hours a year. Hope to see you on a flight soon. Yes, on I hope that as well. Hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>